it'll get easier when you get heavier. Yeah. JJ Camp on the way, how's it going? Good man, this is uh, the most enjoyable time. It's when I'm able to focus on one thing and one thing only, breaking Dylan's face. <laughs> I think where we are right now is just implementing the skills that we're gonna be using uh, during the fight. So it's learning new skills that we've been coaching him with, uh, new sets of combinations, new entrances and ex exits uh, on south balls, considering we didn't know we were fighting south ball, now we are. So it's just a different kind of game plan. And then obviously um, the plyometric and explosive stuff that we're doing to, to generate the power that we need to that you saw today. Let's go. Feet behind you. Let's go work. <coughs> <Two. coughs> <Four. coughs> Considering where we're at, I mean JJ's well ahead of schedule. It's, it's we're, we're we're sort of it's not just about this fight. It's about the continuation of him him as a boxer and him as a competitor and him as an athlete. We're trying to just keep on improving. So it's not just. Just not just the fundamental stages that we're on. We're trying to implement things that are going to give him a skill set that, if he takes this further, that, that that's going to stay with him. I just loved every fucking fight in that car. Yeah. Really Even the intro uh, to Ice Poseidon. Yeah. Yeah, I thought that was fucking jokes. So. Yeah. <laughs> Twelve reps, please. Yeah. Let's go. He's very explosive, very very strong, and he's got a great change of pace. So we see that through sparring and we'll implement that in the fight. But so. yeah, uh, normally uh, when I'm not in camp, I have so much going on, side men, music, and then I'm training at the same time, and then promotion for other things, prime, uh, XIX, sides, etc. So it's nice when all I need to focus on is camp, literally just me training and that's it. And then have a bit of time to record some videos on my own channel, just to be a bit active. But yeah, it's, it's good right now. Three, two, one. Let's go, work. <laughs> Speed, <laughs> Speed. Two, <laughs> three, <laughs> four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, <laughs> eleven. Oof. Uh, nice. Four, Easy Talk to me a little bit about sparring. I know you can't go into too much detail, but how's he looking in there? That's that's what people want to hear about is how is sparring going? It's obviously a very important part of camp. How's he looking in there? Sparring is probably the most important thing that we do. Yeah. Uh, we, we have to try and make this as real as possible. So JJ, for his last fight, had 126 live rounds uh, okay. with, with loads of pros, different bodies. And not move around rounds. You yeah. know, I'm going to work you and help you out rounds. Absolutely I'm, live rounds. I'll come to take your head off. Yeah, yeah. Those are the rounds that this gym is famous for and that we're famous for. We have to make sure our... our our fighters are ready for, for combat. So JJ's already well underway with some good level guys. Um, you know, implementing the game uh, with the southpaw, as you know, is, is a lot different than fighting an orthodox fight. You've got to pay attention a lot of the time. You can't just go in there and slip and roll because you've got to watch out which angle you're on, which part, which end of the foot you're standing on, uh, and, and what shot you're throwing and how you're going to get out of it, obviously because of the counter. So we're aware of all those things. <laughs> 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 what do we know about the opponent, Dylan Dennis? What do we know and what have we got to work on for, for that fight night? I think you've got to think about uh, Dylan as being a world-class competitor uh, from a grappling sense. So we know he's a competitor, we know he's an athlete, we know he's one, you know, one of the best in the world at something. We know he's an undefeated MMA fighter and we know he's current. So those, those are the things that we know and we know he's a southpaw. Uh, that being said, do I think he's a great, great level boxer? Uh, you know, I, I don't think he's a great level boxer, no, but at he the same time... No combat. Doesn't it? Yeah, he knows how to fight, so we've got to we've got to be on point with with uh, with his his mannerisms and attributes with regards to fighting. Sometimes you look at guys and they might not be the most clinical boxers, but they can scrap, they can fight. And Dylan hasn't hasn't lost, and he's got to be taught how to lose. We've got to show him. JJ's got to show him how to lose. What have you been going through today? Uh, so today we just did weight training, uh, did a few uh, things. Alexis is better explaining what I did, but. <laughs> Yeah, just getting our work, making sure I got the fucking guns on point. And then uh, we got some sprints in the afternoon that we'll be doing. And then, yeah, that'll be the day complete. Straight to the ball. 
And as, as good as he's looking at the moment, as strong, as fit, as healthy, as, as it sounds like he's inspiring as well, it might sound a bit daft to say, it's important that he doesn't hit 100% yet. You want him to peak at the right time. Yeah, we don't overboil fighters. We know exactly when and where to do it. So he will be at the pinnacle of his fitness on that fight day. Yeah, I think it's important to realise that when it comes to combat, we have between 70 and 100 professional fights a year. Yeah. So peaking fighters and making them, you know, and we're talking about world championship fights. Like, I mean, I cornered for uh, <clears throat> the head coach for Usyk and Chisora, yeah. uh, cornered David Hay before. So we know about boxers, not just MMA fighters. So it's, it's super important to realise we have that much experience that so we definitely won't overboil him. And we've just got to make sure, like, you know, exactly what you're saying, in the, the best version of JJ comes out at the exact time it's supposed to come out. And that's something that we're very, very good at, so. Right, one. Good job. Dylan! You don't want this smoke! Yeah! <laughs> Can I just show you this video? Okay. And just talk me through it. Uh, well, I mean, it was great form from Dylan came through with the right hand. I think he had the drink or the coffee, iced coffee in his right hand. Flicked the top of my hat to get rid of that and then dashed me with the coffee. It was great for me, yeah, I gotta give it to him. He, he smashed it. But yeah, obviously I was very angry. I was pissed and I tried to get my own back, but Steve got in the way. But uh, yeah, I mean, I'll get my time. January 14th, baby. <laughs> It was, it was quite emotional uh, overload in Texas, if you like, with the coffees and the head-to-heads and everything else. Has JJ carried any of that into camp with him? Or is he, is he sort of focused on the task in front? Yeah, I'm, JJ's pissed at the whole thing. He wants to absolutely... He wants to put his hands on him. Yeah, he wants to break his face. If Dylan's reckless and stupid, he gets put out really early. Quick. Yeah. And if he if he's a real tidy kid and he's got his guard up and he's working well, I think it'll be a few rounds. But I think the event the ending is going to be the same. It's going to be Dylan Dennis with his face down, ass up, and that's going to be the ending of that fight. So the same. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I said, yeah, send me the link in that. <laughs>